Super High is one of my personal all-time favorite VR games. And in case you're unfamiliar, the whole idea of Super Hot is really simple. You have a series of levels that you go through one at a time, and in each level you have a number of enemies that are trying to kill you while you're trying to kill all of these enemies. But there's a single catch. Time won't stand still so long as you stand still. The moment that you move, time begins to move as well. It's a really simple and honestly ingenious idea that allows for you to take complex levels where a lot may be going on, you may have multiple enemies, and make it a lot more manageable and easier for players to be able to handle rather than trying to digest all these different things that's going on around them all at the same time. But did you know that this is actually a very simple thing to add into any VR game in Unreal Engine? In this video, I'm going to show you exactly how you can add in your own slow motion setup so that way time only continues moving so long as you do. But before we jump into that, if you enjoyed this video and want to see even more just like this one, be sure to hit the like and subscribe button down below. And with that, let's jump right into the video. All right, so I've honestly been trying to figure out the best way to show you guys this, everything from start to finish, like that this affects everything. Um, so I think I'm just going to go ahead and start. My controllers are actually turned off right now. Um, you might be able to see them over there in the ground a little bit, but I have, my controllers are not moving. The guns are over there just in their default position. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn on both my controllers at about the same time. Once those are both active, you should start seeing that those guns over there start falling forward. They should just kind of tilt forward and then just kind of rest there, um, sort of in the same position, just kind of fall down and forward towards me a little bit. So let me go ahead and turn on both these controllers. And once these move, there you go. You should have seen it a little bit. And as I move my hands a little bit more, it kind of settled down. So let me go ahead and get myself a little bit closer here. Um, I accidentally put these a little too far and that's why everything was just a little bit far. So you can see that both these guns here are both here, of course. So if I go ahead and let me first show you, if I go ahead and drop it, obviously it moves only when my hands move and it only moves a certain distance. If I go ahead and grab both these guns, both these guns fire off projectiles. These are both the defaults from the VR template. So if I go and fire, you'll see it moves a little bit and then it only continues moving once I move my hands. And that goes for same. So I can, I can just spam a whole bunch, keep very still and then slowly move my hands like that in order to uh, in order to get everything moving. I can also just shoot, move my hand really fast and it, it'll kind of speed up time just a little bit. So it all moves with me. And that includes when I go to drop things. Um, my left hand's a little bit buggy with the index. I'm not entirely sure why. Um, there we go. <laughs> Um, or I'm sorry, my right hand. Did, did I say left hand? I think I said left hand. Anyways, that kind of gives you an idea of how all this functions. And this affects everything in the environment, except for, as you may be able to tell, the way that my hands themselves move. But it affects things that are dropped. It affects projectiles. It will also affect uh, enemies and AI because this actually affects the overall world time dilation, which affects the how fast everything moves in the environment. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and jump into the tutorial and I can show you exactly how all of this works. Let's go ahead and jump right into it. To start, you want to open whatever your VR pawn or VR character that you're using. In this case, I'm using the VR pawn from the default Unreal Engine VR template. So I'm going to go ahead and open that up. Once you have that open, go ahead and get your left and right motion controllers. You want to get the world location and using those world locations, you want to promote those to a variable. While, while I'm creating both of these variables, I'm also going to go ahead and rename these. The purpose of these variables is they're going to store a previous location so we can determine how far or how fast our motion controllers are moving, if it's a significant amount or not. Once you have both these variables set up, go ahead and move on to the event tick. If you don't have it, go ahead and create the event tick like I'm doing here. Once you have your event tick created, you want to start by getting the distance between that previous variable that we just stored and our motion controller's current world location. This will allow for us to determine 
precisely how far our hand has moved, and this will help us gauge how fast our hand is moving. Once you have these distances for both the left and right motion controller, go ahead and add these together, and then you want to set world time dilation and take this added float and set this as the world time dilation. In case you're unfamiliar with world time dilation, this allows for us to determine how fast everything in the environment is moving. For example, if we have this time dilation set to zero, absolutely nothing is going to move. However, if we go for something greater than or equal to one, it means that our environment is going to move at either a regular pace, that's going to be your one, or it's going to move at a much faster pace if you go over one. You can also go somewhere in between zero and one if you want somewhere in the middle. This will allow for us to, to very easily determine how fast we want our environment to move based off of the distance that we're getting from our left and right motion controllers. Once you set the world time dilation, the last step is to go ahead and set those previous location variables that we set again. We obviously want this to constantly be changing. We don't want to have a single spot that our hands are starting at and then we always want our world moving at some sort of pace. So we need to make sure to reset those variables so everything is going to work just fine. And that's it, it's really that simple. With that, you have a very simple setup that allows for you to only move the world when you are moving. And the faster you move or the slower you move, the faster or slower the world is going to move with you. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to like and subscribe button down below. And I also wanna give a quick shout out to my Patreon supporters. And with that, I'll see you in the next reality.